A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In The Streets with Big Storm. No, we had a protest recently in regards to the removal of statutes, inappropriate statutes that are located at the St. William Grants Park. And we also did a protest in regards to Nzinga King. No, I know a lot of you have grown up spending a lot of great times at the St. William Grants Park. But guess what? There's not even an image, a statue of St. William Grants. Recently, while I was going into the park, I met three young schoolgirls. I was extremely curious. I said, let me ask the question to see if they know where they were. And I said, do you know the name of the park? And I was blown away because it was three of them and none of them could tell me the name of the park. I know personally there was an image of St. William Grant or a statue of St. William Grant. Then they will at least see that image or statue, go home and ask either their mother or when they go back to school they would ask their teacher. Today I'm going to enlighten Jamaicans as to who St. William Grant really was and then you'll see pictures of St. William Grant. As a matter of fact, take a look at these pictures of St. William Grant. Take a look. Now you've seen the man. Now I know his image is permanently etched in your mind. Now let's take a listen as to who was Saint William Grant. William Wellington Wellwood Grant was born 1894 and he died on the 27th of August in 1977. He was a Jamaican labor activist. He was known as Saint William Grant. Saint presumably meaning sergeant in reference to his military or UNIA service. He is regarded as the person who started the struggle of the working class in Jamaica. Understanding that as an uneducated black man, he would never win the respect of the colonial government. He entrusted Alexander Bustamante with the responsibility of taking the struggle of the working class to the next level. Grant was born at Brandon Hill in rural St. Andrew. He attended the St. Philip's Church School in St. Andrew and West Branch Elementary School in Kingston. As a young man, he became a dock worker in Kingston. With the advent of World War I, he was towed away on a British troop ship, subsequently joining the 11th British West Indian Regiment. After the war, he returned briefly to Jamaica before emigrating to New York in 1920. There, he worked as a cook in restaurants while involved with the Tiger Division of the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League. In 1934, he served as a delegate to the UNIA Convention in Jamaica, where he was expelled from the UNIA by Marcus Garvey himself for misrepresenting the aims and objectives of the organization. Remaining in Jamaica, Grant continued both to earn his living as a cook and participate in activism, this time as a labor leader. In May 1938, the dock workers of the United Food Company were on strike. Bustamante and Grant were known as orators promoting and directing the strike. Both were arrested on the 24th of May and remanded in custody by a police inspector. 
While Bustamante submitted to arrest, St. William Grant protested and was badly beaten. Both were charged with inciting unlawful assembly and obstructing the police, were refused bail and as a form of humiliation were stripped down to their underwear. The events led to further strikes and riots until Bustamante and Grant were freed by a court on the 28th of May. According to Dr. Orville Taylor, a senior lecturer at the University of the West Indies, had it not been for St. William Grant, history might not have known Bustamante. Grant had a falling out with Bustamante and never became part of the Jamaica Labour Party. In 1947, he contested the West Indian division of the People's National Party in the first municipal KSAC election after adult suffrage and was beaten by more than two to one. He never resurfaced in any other political contest. However, in 1950, Bustamante recommended that Grant be appointed watchman at the Central Housing Authority later the Ministry of Housing, which post he remained until his death. Grant was awarded the Order of Distinction on National Heroes Day 1974. Following this, the UNIA organized a special tribute for him on the 21st of December 1974. He was given a state funeral on the 5th of September 1977. The St. William Grand Park in the center of downtown Kingston is named in the honor of William Grant. It was previously called Victoria Park in honor of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom, being renamed shortly after Grant's death. Other statues in the park included Norman Manley, Alexander Bustamante, Charles Metcalf, Jordan, Ladies and gentlemen, it is very shameful to know that we have a mind of the magnitude and substance of St. William Grant. And even though the park was named after him, to this day there is not an image or a statue of him in the park. We demand that his image and the statue be placed in the park because in the year 2022 it no look good it is very embarrassing to me to know that the park is named after him and most people have never even seen the image of saint william grant let me hear from you in the comment section below what do you think do you think the park should have a statue of St. William Grant and do you think that we should remove those slave drivers, those colonial masters statue that is erected in a park that is named after a national black man? Let me hear from you. Please like and share this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time I'm asking you to do so. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this has enlightened you as to who the great St. William Grant really